ain't kill. That's what man and them ain't kill. Because mm -hmm, one person want to go someplace, or other person don't want to go, and there's a bunch of. Leonidas is coming at y'all today. And the Wealth Warrior Mom. So we've been having a little debate on what we should make this next video about. But um, especially after having some very interesting uh, relationship conversations with a few different people, I think it's just fitting we do a relationship type video. So I'm gonna let her talk first though. I'm gonna let her share what's on her mind about relationships. Well, what's on my mind is about our relationship, right? Because for the past eight years, we've been married for the past eight years. Eight? It's been eight years, right? I was nine. No, it's been eight years. Okay. It's, we started on the one. So one plus one and nine minus one is eight. But what I'm getting at is we've been together, what? In total of eight years and two weeks. Yes. Okay. When I met you, you were not my type. You were far from anybody that I was looking for. Because, I mean, at the time, I wasn't looking for anyone. But it puzzles me when you say I was not. It puzzles you me. You were about that. I know. I wrote the song was just to get on me for other people. It wasn't in general for me. Oh. It was whatever my fans like, I going to sing about. It's oh. like Madonna. She always sings about sex. But she would rather read a book than have sex, according to sources. But anyways, it was weird to me when I, it's weird to me when I hear you say things like you knew you wanted to be with me from the first night we met. Like, how is that even possible to be like, okay, you meet, you see somebody, and like, what? I want she me some. Like, like it's that's one thing to say. Like, I want get some dress or she. I want to be open. Yeah, like stuff like that. It's, it's it's one thing you see you see a good looking guy and you like what I want some of heat I want to, I want to taste what he got you know just the vibes but when you said you you met you meet somebody and you wanted to be with them from then like you knew that this person was gonna be your wife you knew you were gonna settle down with this person like how what what type of, like what do you what comes about to make something like that happen like what type of energy is it an energy is it a force is it a message from god what is it are you asking me? i'm asking well, you I yeah i, I mean i'm asking know. them too but i'm asking you mainly i don't know, I don't know. I, did somebody being, come in your air and be no, like here's hey, the thing. Here's the thing. now here's the thing right? i was married when i met you okay That's see i didn't know thing. that that's a whole nother something to the game. So I don't know. Me personally, I was in a really bad, bad, bad relationship at the time. And I was looking for a way out. Not necessarily. Oh for my a, hold on, God, hold on, hold on, really? hold on. No, no, listen, listen. listen. <laughs> Not necessarily for a, 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 a woman to be the way out, but I wanted to be with somebody that I could actually build a life with. So it would have been a man too? Or what, nah, could, could nah, nah, nah. I'm not a track of the men. You know, nothing against men or nothing. Like, I'm a guy, but. It, it was it was it was something where like a year before I met you I had already wrote three pages of what I wanted in a woman so it was like I knew what I was looking for mm -hmm. right but when I saw you what? the ahead, feeling ahead, that ahead. I got when I saw you I'd never felt that feeling for another woman before in my life really yeah never have I never has my heart ever beat so fast or my stomach churned so much or my whatever right so mm -hmm. for me it was mm -hmm. it was just one of those things where I was like, wow, she she looks amazing. But sex wasn't the initial, the initial thing on my mind. It was just like she's gonna be my next wife. That was my first thought. And then when you came over and you spoke to me and and, uh, and, and Willis, I was like, the we all reaction was just like, I don't know who this chick was, like who this chick really is, but I want her. Like me and her have to be together. Yeah. That was just my focus. I was just, and I believe I believe no, especially. Especially with that thing that happened with us with the guy the other day. And he was driving and he just pulled up and I was trying to avoid the guy for a couple of days. Yes. So, like, things like that. I'm trying to avoid him and he's trying to find me. And, and yet, you connect. And you connect. 
So I believe that there's some kind of universal energy out there that attracts the right person for you to you because but wait but, but with that being said i put i'm putting on my little um because psychic hoodie because i was told that i'm a prophet oh and God. so is my husband so maybe that played a part see i love how we look because maybe that played a part in it but why would god or the universe or karma or whatever you want to call it why would they send you someone to be your future wife when you're already married isn't that, a, isn't that an interesting question yeah and then what's crazy about that our marriage has outlasted that relationship that last marriage i was like two and a half times which is crazy after so, only meeting this guy for two weeks and i tell you initially so, when i met him i found him to be obnoxious annoying just like I smelled bad that night too. I he smelled that bad and he was he dressed he was wearing dirty clothes and he yeah. was not looking like like my first look would be like ew this is a dusty person yeah you guys have seen the emoji this guy hey, is I, I, hey can super... i be your boyfriend and she's like no he's like hey i got a nine inch penis and she's like yeah oh, that's what happened no that's <laughs> not that's far from the truth it's I mean, like I only started talking to you because I rea realized that we have a connection where a St. John connection the universal, because universal I went to school connection. with his younger brother and I used to hang out. We used to walk home together. His younger brother and I, I'm talking about, um, Hota, Hota. Hota, Hota. <laughs> Right, so all through elementary and Julius East Sproul, we would go hang out and go. I lived, he lived, you know, in central, um, not close to town, and I lived a little ways past. So we would walk home together to get. So I thought, I was like, okay, so yeah. they're able to get home, oh. to get to Mikasa <laughs> and to get to his casa. We all walking hey. home and stuff like that. So that's where I kind of accepted his request to talk to him like a human being because i was really rough on him like i was really gnarly like he would say hey you know what's up i'm like fine and my my answers were very blunt and straight to the point it was not like no flirty thing like when you meet a guy for the first time and he looks cute you're like hi i was like wow mm -hmm. wait okay whatever but when i when i realized the connection i was like okay well i, I, I no can kind of vibe with him because <laughs> it's not like he's a total total stranger but i know his family like that you know so i'm like okay cool i can vibe with him but then i find out that half of his family is from the dominican republic i don't get along with people from the dominican republic because their men's be watching me and their women's be hating so i'm like uh, he's from the dr okay cool Half his family from the dear, but I know his other half. His other half is cool. They're musicians. Like my family were musicians. So I'm like, okay, boom. Then he hit me with I play steel drums. Boop, bram, bram. I was oh, like, so okay. Was that? Oh, we can we can finish? actually talk gotcha. now. Steel we can have conversations <laughs> now. Whoa. I can email you. It was still on the email and Facebook basis, hardly on the phone okay it was hard and all this time i didn't know this dude was married but we wasn't really talking like that but that was like in 2009 right because we met in 2008 when i went to go sing ain't that story. very interesting i went to interesting sing story. and i was late and i was upset so now maybe she was that's on time because she was on time to find her husband you know what okay yeah you're right i was on she time was to find time my though. future three years future husband eight 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 nine times yep three years almost if you want to be technical so okay what this school traffic is crazy so my thing is this right how can people be in relationships for like 20 years and then they get married and that's it they get married and tutus they're divorced i just that. It's just how, how, how people are in a relationship with people and they're just doing each other. Well, how can you stay in a relationship with somebody well, that you, you don't, don't like? like? I don't understand that. You're cheating on the person, you're doing it. You don't like, you obviously don't like the person, so why stick around? If you, you know want to I mean? have multiple women, that's one thing. But if you're trying to be in a relationship with somebody, 
with a female or a guy and you don't like the person. I just don't understand why people are staying in relationships but they don't like the person. That's the thing. And, and then um, another thing too, right? They would stay in a relationship with somebody that they do like but the person don't like them and it's obvious. Yeah. The per you and the person are not, you know, in a loving, um, honest relationship. Why would you continue to hurt yourself by remaining in a relationship with somebody that obviously don't want to be with you? If they're telling you things about yourself, putting you down, speaking about you negatively behind your back and to your face, you don't have to be in a sexually abusive or a physically abusive relationship. You could be in a verbally abusive, any abuse that you receive in a relationship, you have to decide whether you want to stay. But why even make that decision to stay? Be like, yo, I'm out. You, no one should force you or you should not feel like you should try to make a relationship work when it's obviously if it's not meshing and what, I, what can I use behoo? Be can I use behoo? Be it, be 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 it would behoove me I don't even really know what that word means I just it's like to say it interest. oh okay so I can't use behoove then but it sounds like Behoove should be used as before hoofs. Yeah, behoove. <laughs> what? The? No, Yo, no. Fuck this. No. I, well, well, to make my point, what I was gonna oh, what I was gonna ask is, right? Why? I mean, there's a lot of tension between his ex-wife and his new relationship, right? Well, I chat both. I know there's a lot of tension. Which I don't understand why, because it's clear that they wanted to exit the relationship. And they seem to say things like, oh, I'm so happy that the relationship is over. But at the and when you flip the coin, they still felt like, oh, I was a good woman to you. I'm a good woman. I'm a this, I'm a that. I we think every woman is a good woman. We should have worked. I think every man is a good man. But you have to find a person that you're supposed to be good to. That is one that's gonna accept your energy, right? Because you could because be somebody that beating somebody in a relationship that could be good for somebody. Like, some woman need beating, some man need beating. Nobody needs hey, to hey, beat no, it. No, no, no. Some but some, by, some people on. like it, some people hey, like, like to get and then some of them need it, and then some of them like it. Okay, some people like to get cheated on, some people do. So, and like, for me, my issue it, with cheating is like before I got married, if you go and cheat. You let me know what's going on. I don't like to be in the dark about anything. And even in my marriage now, I like to be, I like to, to, for information to be put on the table and for me to make an educated decision about what I'm going to do in our relationship. I don't, it's true. Am I lying? Nobody said you were. I like to know if Leo go and see a sweet, sexy thing and he like, what? TJ, what you say, man? We want, we want, he, we, because this is a we thing. But in a, some cases, you know, <laughs> in some cases. The number in the description. The number, you said, <laughs> the number in the description. I'm, I'm just kidding. How long is this video going to be? I don't know. We're going to edit some of it. Okay. Because right? I, I think we got off topic. Big day. Big motherfucking time. Okay. What we were talking about before though. Why would God, Why would God send you somebody in a relationship? When you're in a relationship? If you're already married. Not if you're in a relationship, if you're already married. Or what if you're married to the wrong time? Hmm. That's a good question. You could edit this out, right? Yeah. Okay, cool. Yeah, so. Do you do you feel that peop, a lot of people ignore certain signs or certain energies when they get with somebody because they feel that God sent that person to them? I think people are just jump into sex to fast in relationships. That's my honest opinion. Because when you see a good looking girl and you see a good looking man, you but what is what else is there to do for most people? Get to know people, the person. Okay. Find out what the person is about first before you just go open your crotch and stick your penis in a hole and you don't know what the hell is in there. Well, that I'm hole, pretty sure. We, oh, okay, I get you. That I get hole you. Is like, you, so walk you, wanna... into, you walk in, you walk in, in a room, you open the door, the room pitch dark, 
you don't know what you don't know what in the room and you just walk in the room blind. That's basically what you do when you sleep on a chick, you don't know. Or a dude. Or a dude. But that's speaking from a dude perspective. But I mean, you know I mean so it's like that's kinda what happened with me and you. Kinda. You didn't know me. I mean we didn't have sex when we met. Right. Which was great. Cause then I, we probably wouldn't be here right now. Right. You know? It's like maybe the universe was saying, Don't study that dude because he got one more room. Maybe the universe was telling me that. But maybe they weren't saying woman because you having a girlfriend is not a factor to me. It's if you have a wife. I don't know. The only contract I'm trying to break is car insurance. I'm yeah. not dying. Whatever. Okay? I could let a lapse. But I'm not trying to. I would never try to purposely go and involve myself with anybody that in a relationship why that's they married. To, why did they try to involve themselves with if they try to involve my self with me and they didn't tell me that they were married in the first place, that's it. You're getting caught off. You're getting caught. Ah, that happened to me where somebody would try to tell me, try to talk to me, and I found out they're married and I wouldn't even talk to them. I would, when they call me, I wouldn't answer my phone. If they have a girlfriend, yeah, I would entertain them because that's just okay. To me, it wasn't a bother to me. If, I, if I'm in a relationship with a guy and we, we decide that our relationship is going to be open, if he is going on dates with females, my whole my stipulation is to protect yourself. And um, the other stipulation is don't come to me no shit when you see me at a bar drinking with Sonny. You understand? Because mm-hmm. I'm going to protect myself. So that way the inc- agreement would be at. Now when we get married, no, no, I'm going to see this boy again snatch. Oh, he going to drop off. <laughs> now when we marry, no, we could still have that agreement if we want to. You understand? Oh yeah. <laughs> yes. Let me get that right. You we are Leo, you're so silly. Let me get Coco that. Street. Let me get that right. You know what Oh yeah, sound alright, okay. Serious, let me get that right, man. Okay. But I know you, Leo. You won't be comfortable squeezing up no next girl barn if me and they. Oh yeah, if you're not there. Yeah. If me and they you gonna feel you gonna be like when your teeth in when you when you um six years old and you're trying teeth a candy and your mother standing up right there, that nervousness, your hand them sweating, yeah. you shaking, slowly moving, trying well, to get. Well, see, there's the thing with that, right? Uh huh. When I have sex with a chick, I don't want to get caught having sex with, with a chick from somebody. Me supposed to get caught. What? So, well, how would you get caught? Exactly. So to avoid all of that, just come in and enjoy the whole thing with, with you know what I mean? Let's just all do this together. True. It's just True. sex. We're facts. Not, we ain't robbing a bank. It's just sex. Facts. <laughs> facts. So we stacking facts, right? Yeah, that's all. <laughs> you're that's so I silly. Feel. I mean, I just think if something ain't working out for you, if it's not working for you, you have to find a way to improve on it. You have to find a way to make yourself better for the situation. But if you're in a relationship, that person don't want to improve, you married, and they don't want to improve, and they don't want to grow, you have to exit because if 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 the guy trying to improve himself at home, girl just being a sabotage, then it's like, that ain't gonna work. That's how people, women end up getting killed. That's how men end up getting killed. Because mm-hmm. one person wants to go someplace, the other person don't want to go, and it's a bunch of other problems. <laughs> you understand? <laughs> so, I don't think it's wise for people to sit around in a marriage just because they're married. A marriage is a contract. Right? A marriage is just Yeah, a, but what a, if what if you don't want to get married multiple times? Then don't get married multiple times. Yeah, but if you meet somebody that you don't give that that ain't working out, you get divorced. You meet somebody else, you get married and ain't working out, you go get divorced again. Why not? I did it. Yeah, but don't you feel a certain type of way that you've been married twice before? Not until you brought them my attention. I mean, I don't give a shit if you've been married three or four times before. Yeah, but I mean, you know what I mean. But before you, it would be um, you would feel a type see, of way. Not necessarily because those marriages were not like I wouldn't say real marriages, what? but they weren't like I, I guess sincere to a degree. Like the first marriage, I was going to Afghanistan. I didn't know if I was gonna live. You know what I mean? Yeah. I was told, oh, I'm pregnant. I mean, it ain't mine because I always use protection, but oh I, I wasn't gosh. sure. You know what I mean? I wasn't 100% sure. So in my defense, to do what I thought at the time was, you know, in the best interest for the child. Hey, whether this kid is mine or not, if I don't come back from this war, the kid has a chance of, at, 
at getting a better start than I had at life. True. You and I find that that was very honorable. So that was my decision making behind that whole ordeal was that young lady, the young lady, I, if, if I was not going to or would I have been married to her? Hell no. I would not have done that because I knew early on that she was not somebody that would be hmm. a good partner to me 20 years later. So you, it's safe to say you have like a a sense, I guess? I guess so, man, because I just get vibe from people, from certain folks, and sometimes I get, I get right, you know, real, real bad around I'm rotted. But when it comes to relationships, it's more on a vibe like that. Because I don't ever have really experience, negative experiences with people, unless they're just full of foolishness. So I neither do I. So Except for your ex-wife. She just hours, hours off my shit. That's a whole nother... That's I don't understand why. That's a whole nother... It is. Bar game in itself. I don't understand that whole thing, but... Relationships gonna do what they do. And at the end of the day... You have to know so you, you think about. you think so you, so I have a question right because I never been married before this is my first rodeo what do you tell someone that's in a relationship with someone that you know they obviously don't love Something. they don't care about like how do you how do you talk to somebody that just got dumped by I don't know someone that they're in love with and they you know, base their whole world around this person. Change the zip code, change the area code, change the friends, change every fucking thing. That's the only way. Uh, change your zip code, change, change the area code, code change, change everything, everything about, your life. Because, about your life. Yeah, you gotta whitewash your entire life. Because if you stay in the same situation that you've been in with that former partner, everything that you, everywhere you go, everything you do, people you see, it's all gonna remind you of that. And, Whatever pain you think you're experiencing, you can keep reliving that. And that's how people end up relapsing in relationships and sleeping with a person again and doing all this kind of bullshit if you're in the same proximity, in the same area. But if you change, if you re totally remove yourself from that, you change your phone number, you cannot contact that person, they can't contact you, you can't see them. That feeling, whatever it is you had, will quickly be replaced, especially when you see another guy or another girl that show up that. What this thing I want some of this. You are easily or quickly forget about whatever pain or headache or heartache you're feeling. It's a very difficult and cold thing to do. So it's not every human being built to do shit like that, to mm -hmm. just leave a relationship. No, it's like guys how guys just cheat on women sometimes. Guys will just go and sleep on the next chick, go sleep on the next chick and then go back home to the, the main thing. It's like they just it took chicks, they just seem cold hearted because chicks in love with guys, they had a connection. Kind of the same vibe But guys You know what I mean You just have to di Disconnect from That whole Energy And just get away from it Change the scenery You guys to go someplace new You see new, new exciting things That you never see before You stimulate in the brain different You see new people By the time you Do get a second to Relax and think about Come back to reality You're too tired to fucking work To think about it You know You're really too tired to worry about it So it's like there, it's not gonna be any space, and you keep yourself busy doing things that you love to do. Do things that make you happy. That's why you find somebody that is compatible with you. Yeah. You know, like me, for instance, I've been around the world, travel different countries, meet many women all over the place, and what I find interested in, <clears throat> what I find interesting is the mere fact that the same place I found my ex wife is the same place I found you. That's, that's interesting for one. And I ain't mean even from there. I'm not even from there. there. That's, that's, I was just visiting. That's, you know, I was going to work. That's you picking up chicks while they're going to work, <laughs> yo? That's, I was going to do my job. That's the that's one of the most interesting things I find. And then mm -hmm. next to that is like if you know what it is you want and you go looking for it, you're gonna find it. It may not be when you want it or how you want it, but you gotta find what you're looking for because something I learned from being with you, right? At the time when I met you, you wasn't exactly what I wanted, but you were everything I needed. True. You understand? And it really made a big difference in my thought process with a lot of things. So, and you gotta be open minded too. Oh, that's what happened? You gotta be open minded too if you wanna be in a real love and committed relationship. I mean, cheating for me, it's like 
man, sometimes it's just good to have a second vagina around. <laughs> sometimes when the first one tire ain't available, it is good to have a second one around for that purpose. Mm. Other than that, or just to be, you know, you go to a nice show or something, you got two bad looking chicks on your arm, and everybody wanna know, like, wait, wait, what, wait, what are we getting on here? You kiss this one, then you kiss this one, then the two of them kiss. Then it's like, wait, wait, wait. That what? ego thing, man. You know what I mean? That wait, ego wait, thing. Wait, what are we really getting on here? That, I think, for most guys, that is bigger and badder than having any watch. Lamborghini, Ferrari, any amount of money in the bank. If you could pull chicks like that and do some shit, you, you, you ain't even on that level financially. That's some powerful stuff. You know what I'm saying? That's some weird shit for women because it's like, what women would you really find out there to be dumb for stuff like that? But there is women out there for stuff like that. But you gotta get your energy and your confidence and your, you gotta be in tune with yourself and all to, 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 to attract that and then hold it together. You gotta have a certain level of energy to hold that kind of shit together. Some guys that want to have all that ego talk and this and that. Man, look, if your dick's small and you can't stand up for, for about 45 minutes to an hour and a half, you can't handle two chicks. You ain't, it ain't gonna work. You know what I mean? It just ain't gonna work. And a lot of them, a lot of, for a lot of guys, is it's an ego thing, I believe, because they want to feel like they can wrangle two bulls at the same time and all that kind of vibe or whatever. You know, it's the whole porn star thought process and what have you. What is sex really? What is the point of sex? Why do we always want to have sex? I know for men, for me, for instance, at 99% of the time, I really don't give a fuck about sex. I really don't care about it. It's just when the thing down in between my legs start to harass me, then it's like, oh yeah, they're just like eating. You remember, oh yeah, I need to engage in this. Mm. So, you know, it's something you indulge in. You see a pretty looking chick, it's like, oh man, yeah, the stomach, yeah, you know, the, the trousers are head, yeah, wake up and you're like, oh my God. He got it, the trousers are head. Yeah, it, it, you know what I'm saying? Yes. It's like, you just have to know what you're about, man. Get your money right. Know what you like and, and the right chick that is for you will eventually be the right person. The right person. I ain't gonna so lie. You me ain't gonna lie. Well. Me ain't gonna lie. I tell you this on camera. Me ain't no shame in my game. I know a lot of gay people. And I see a dude two weeks ago. If I were even open to being to going on a date with the guys, I would have went on a date with the dude with fucking fine. I ain't gonna lie. Uh, I give him my props. But hey, I ain't saying that gay. That's not your opportunity to come holler at me. I just saying be open. <sighs> this is the kind of times you live in. I just point out there. Be open to different opportunities. Be what? open. Be open minded to thing to to stuff. You know what I'm saying? Because the right person, it, it, the right person is out there for you. Be open to that stuff, man. Just be mindful about their, you know, about their qualities as well, and be open to receiving what it is you want to give as well. And even if you don't get it in the beginning or at all, just give it. You know what I'm saying? If you want, if you want love, you have to be loved. You have to be filled with love. You have to give it. You have to be willing to do the things and fulfill yourself. The way nobody else or they go for fame. Oh, you also have to be willing to give it up when when what, what did it say? Give up the ghost. Give up the ghost. When it when it's it's when it's done. Yeah, that, that is true. So, I mean, when when the relationship. I would love to see what y'all how you know some comments below. Like this video, share it. We are how, for you know, real because. And go look at our freaking um, condom review too. Yeah, the links in the description. That's what Google that. Because I mean, a lot of people are, like I, I have a friend right now. Huh? I, like I have a friend right now. You know, him and his, his girlfriend going through some problems. They're older than us, right? They're, 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 look at this, look at this, look at this, look at this, look at this. Pay attention. Oh my God. They are, they are, they are going through a lot of problems what? right now. If we're going to flip this phone around, boom, 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 they're, boom, they're, boom. They're going through a lot of problems right now. Jesus. You goodness. shake it, my girl. Shake it, baby, shake it. Uh -huh, they're good. going through a lot of problems right now. Mm. She's cheating on him. He's trying to get his money up. He's stressed out overly about his stuff, and it's not much that he can really do about this. So, you know, so at the end of the day, how do you deal with a situation like that? You know, he's kind of stuck right there because I think they have they have a kid and grandkids together. So it's like she wants to move on, he doesn't. What do you do? How do you attract to, you know that type of energy to be in a relationship that with somebody? Well, you didn't know what you were about going into the relationship. Something I learned from Les Brown. Well, Marriage is a contract, you know what I'm saying? If you get into a relationship with somebody, you have to know the person, the, their likes, their dislikes, you have to be willing to accept all kinds of crazy crap. But at the same time, you have to let them know what you need out of the relationship. You set boundaries? You set your boundaries and know what you need out of the, out of, out of, out of the relationship. So that way, you, you satisfy that at the end of the day. If you need to sex every day, yo, I need some drawers every day. So that mean on them five days where you can't supply me some drawers, we gotta work something out. 
that could be way outside date night or something. If that's what it is. If you need time to chill with the boys, yo, every week I need my Friday night to chill with my boys. I don't want to hear shit. Yeah, but you also yeah, I mean? what what would even what would help in a situation like that is to try to well not try but to uh, create a path of uh, I guess an open path so that that one person that's out there in the universe out there somewhere on planet Earth that thinks or or likes or would accept that that you would be attracted to that person that person would come to you. You understand, like the kind of a law of attraction kind of vibe. Like you would want to do the things instead of just dating random women because of how they look. Actually, dig deep and and connect with some with whatever you 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 connected to, whether it's a god, the universe, or Allah, or whoever, whatever it is, is a candle. You connect with that so that that person can be drawn to you, and you will have a freaking awesome relationship you understand because i think i was looking at this one um this one tv show Mm -hmm. where they were talking about couples and they gave them some tasks to do Mm -hmm. and the couples that that you know they told them hey don't have sex for a week and the couples that didn't have sex for a week or a month or whatever the case is some of the couples broke up because the only thing they had in common was sex the they, sex was awesome, but then when you take the sex out of the relationship, there was nothing wow. they had in common. Like, he's a straight metalhead, and she want to listen to R. Kelly all day. So, she's like, I'm, like, imagine that. So, this guy's a vegetarian, and she just, she eats pork sandwiches. Like... She's a PC. Yeah, but I meet a lot of people that are vegans, mm-hmm. and their spouse are meatheads. So how the hell do you put a vegan and a meathead together and have a la- a lasting happy Spot. relationship? So he's a, he's a vegan. He's a vegan. She's a meathead. And she eats pork, chicken, fish. Well, n- everything that on good. A- Sixty nine. He eats she fish. She's lucky you meat. But he's not. Yes. But she. He's not eating any. <laughs> he's a vegan. You don't eat fish. Oh, they don't eat fish. He don't eat no kind of animal product. He just eats fruits and vegetables and yeah. some grains and nuts. He's a vegan. He's not a pescatarian or a vegetarian. Uh, that's what I'm after in this video. So that's what I'm saying. <laughs> How do you get those two together and they have a, a 20, 20 something year old relationship Next. when they can't eat the same things? Like We'll talk about that in the next video. That, they that can't even use the same topic. pot and the same spoon. <laughs> that's a whole other topic in itself. Anyways, this is the Wealth Warrior Mom signing off. Peace.